happy Thursday. We are treating today like a Friday because our kids have off from school tomorrow. It is Memorial Day weekend and we are going to be busy. And the kids had a, I believe it was an extra snow day. So they were so kindly to give that to us and let the kids have off. And I keep saying, um, I keep saying to everyone when we are, you know, bringing it up that I would like to give it back. <laughs> can we, can we do it? No gibsy backsies. So the kids have off tomorrow and we have a super, super, super busy weekend. So I am taking the morning to straighten up the house, at least the first floor. I'm not really hitting the upstairs today, but I wanted to get things just put away, things straightened up, things that needed to be wiped down, wiped down. And I wanted to get it all done by 12 o'clock. So I started this once the kiddos got off to school and my youngest two are off about 8.40. So I think I started around 9.15, 9.30. And I am really happy with what I got done. And I always start with emptying out the sink from the morning. And there was actually a few uh, leftover, leftover plates in there from last night, which I hate doing, but happens. So got taken care of that. And we needed to wipe down the stove and give it a little love. And I did that. I used the pink stuff that I don't love that stuff. I know it's like a popular cleaner and it definitely did the job quickly, but I much rather use Barkeeper's Friend when I'm doing like a deep cleaning of the stovetop. But anyway, all that to say, just needed a little wipe down, just cleaned off the stuff I keep on top. And I, if I don't fill up my Stanley, which yes, I got myself a Stanley and I love it and I use it. It's definitely paid for itself because I use it all day, every day. But if I don't fill it up with water and I don't take my vitamin in the morning, forget it. Like it's not happening. And I notice when I don't take the time to fill it up in the morning that I definitely don't drink as much water as I do when I know I have it with me and it's already filled up. So just did that real quick and notice that the fridge needed a wipe down. So we're just doing it with water and a, uh, you know, just a good old microfiber uh, cloth, just wiping down the stainless steel super quick, nothing fancy, getting the dishwasher. That always seems to be a disaster, which I think it's from having the thing the I put the dishes there to dry, the things that can't go in the dishwasher. And um, I think a lot of them drip down and it just makes it a constant mess. But anyway, got that nice and clean. Now we're in the laundry room and I am just just putting things away, getting the water bottles off the floor into the fridge, getting some seltzers into the fridge. This fridge needs a clean out, but not today. Getting laundry put away. We are tackling all the things and we are getting them done today. Let's go, let's get it done. Whoever invented slime, I I just like I'd love to just know why. What what was the motivation behind slime? I, I don't get it. It definitely wasn't a mom. It definitely wasn't a mom. It's like Victoria's Secret. There was for sure a, a a dude behind this. I mean, it's just the slime's all over the place on the floor. I find it in the ceilings. I, I find it everywhere. Can't stand it. On the couch, in the rug. Oh my gosh, if I get my hands on it, it goes straight in the trash, straight in the trash. So we got that up off the floor and we are back in the kitchen, scrubbing down the counters, scrubbing down anything that might have splattered on the cabinets, nothing major, just getting everything nice and clean so we can do a little bit of a wipe down.
Maybe it was a mom who invented slime. I'm not sure, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I'd be thanking her for it. Um, anyway, I am onto my pantry. This pantry needs a major overhaul, major, major, but it is not happening anytime soon. It is not high on the priority list. I'd love to get rid of the wire shelves. I'd love to paint in here. I'd love to have a better system and all in due time. But right now these baskets, we make them work. Keep, I like to try and keep everything out of the boxes when I can, but we just had some big club size uh, boxes sitting here on the floor. I just wanted to get put away. Just wanted to clean up all these crumbs that have been on the floor. And I probably spent all of 10 minutes in here and I got it back to somewhat of a decent looking space. Got all My biggest thing was the crumbs. I just wanted to get all the crumbs up off the floor, get Ellie's food back in there. And then we are good to go in here. And now we're just going to wipe down, give the table a little bit of a scrub, a little bit of a clean, and then to a little bit of a wipe down. And I want to make sure I remember to emphasize the fact that it is Memorial Day weekend and not just the start of summer, but to thank everyone who served our country and of course those who you know had to lose uh, something so great along the way but that's really what this weekend is about and thank you so so very much Now we're on to the family room and this is, um, like I said, our family room. It's super, super, super minimal right now. Um, we actually just got rid of our huge TV wall unit, which is on the complete opposite side of these windows um, that you can't see behind the camera right now. But that used to be where our TV was and I did a lot of my decor over there and we recently sold that and we'll be taking this sectional and putting it in our basement when our basement is done, which is in the midst of getting a, a renovation down there right now, but it's a little bit of a halt with all the crazy baseball and busy schedules. My husband does the majority of the work, so it's on a little bit of a hold right now. So this room I haven't been wanting to get anything new for. I haven't really decorated a ton in here because I know that we're going to be getting new furniture in hopefully, fingers crossed, the near future. And um, there is Ellie, and you'll notice Ellie does not budge ever until the vacuum comes near her. Then, then she doesn't want anything to do with it, but I mean, I can literally climb on her, climb over her, like she's, she's good. She's until the vacuum comes out, <laughs> and then she's gone. But just getting, just a quick vacuum in here, nothing crazy. Just wanted to wipe all of M Ellie's um, schnutzy nose prints off the window. Just get a vacuuming in there done. And we've moved on to the bench area where I'm just giving it a quick wipe down because it's super, super dusty. And I had left some Easter decor actually up top there, if you can see it. Some, yeah, this stuff. And that was on its complete last leg. So I had left it there because I knew I was going to be throwing it out and I never got to taking it down. So I hate to see them go, but they lasted a lot of years. One was missing an arm and it was time. It was time. Next Easter, we will buy some new bunnies for the house. So we are just vacuuming, getting that area done. And now we are into what is our new newly um, new dining room. This was uh, used to be... Well, when we first moved in the house, this room was empty for quite a long time. And then we kind of made it into a living room with like kind of leftover furniture that we had moved around. And then we ultimately decided to make it into our dining room. So we have a new table in here. 
new chairs. This hutch was a part of our old dining room set. And I said, you know what? Let's put it there. Let me see how I feel about it. I originally really wanted like um, a, you know, shorter but longer condenser site piece that kind of went under the chair rail to fill out that wall. But I said, you know what? The black goes with the vibe I'm going for in here. And I wanted to see if it would grow on me. And it's kind of growing on me. So it might live there now. That might be permanent. And there's a lot of things I want to do in here. We still need to get window treatments. I really just want to get the, you know, this, the, I can't think of the name of them, but they just, you pull them down and they go back up. Love to get them on the remote because these windows are extra long and it's uh, hard to reach the top. But anyway, um, that's a need to do. I want to get a real, kind of tree to put in that corner there to the left of the hutch and lots of things I want to do in here I have a project that I'm going to be doing on the wall that you can't see that's behind me um really excited about oh, there you go that big white plain wall that doesn't have the chair rail piece on it I'm going to be doing a cute accent wall there and that room that is in between our kitchen and the now dining room used to be our old dining room where our kitchen table used to be and this hutch. And this that room right now is empty. It will eventually make a wonderful addition to the kitchen, but that is not going to happen anytime in the near future. So right now it's going to stay empty and it's gonna stay as my kids' TikTok room for them to go in there and dance and jump around <laughs> until we get to it. But um, lots of things on top of the priority list, you know? it's. It's hard to check everything off at the same time. So we do what we can when we can. And just in the playroom now, it wasn't bad at all. Just wanted to take some stacks of um, bins that I had there that I wanted to take out that I didn't need right now. And just giving everything a quick wipe down and just giving everything a vacuum. And then we will move on to the stairs. Anybody else still have holes in their walls from their baby gates when their kids have their youngest just turned six? <laughs> Priorities. Uh, trying to scrub this little stain out and I think it's slime. I think it's slime. Yep, it was slime. So just trying to get the rest of that out of this carpet and somewhat succeeded and getting this smelly trash out and then gonna just get the rest of these dishes put away. Okay, it is 11.48 and my goal was to have things straightened up by 12 o'clock and I did pretty good. I did the majority of what I wanted to do. The only thing I haven't gotten to yet is the bathroom and I don't really want to do a huge cleaning in there. I just wanted to throw the garbage out. I think I need to put new soap in the, um, in the hand soap and I just wanted to like clean the toilet a little bit, but that's okay. I will get to that later. I want to run out and finish getting my flowers for the front. I've been gathering things here and there and um, I'm hoping to find that, find the rest of what I need today so that I can finish the front. 
made it to the end of this crazy cleaning this morning. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Maria and I am the mom of four kiddos, ages 13, 11, 9, and just newly six. And I am treating today like a Friday because, although it's Thursday, because um, we have no school tomorrow. So we have a pretty busy weekend ahead of us. Memorial Day weekend, we have baseball tournaments, we have parties, we have a lot of stuff. We have our pool that we need to open because it is summer, summer, summer time and just a lot to do. So I know I wasn't cleaning, was not high on the priority list this weekend. So I just wanted to get a little overall cleaning done within the at least the first floor of the house and seem to achieve that this morning. And I am headed out now, like I said, to hopefully our local garden center just to pick up a few uh, little things that I have not gotten yet that I would like to find for the front. But thank you so much for watching. If you hung out this long, please like and subscribe. I love to do uh, all things cleaning, cooking, mommy, life. Um, DIYs are huge here. We constantly have ongoing projects within the house, as I probably mentioned throughout this video quite a few times. And um, just lots of fun stuff going on on a daily basis. So love for you to hang, love for you to stay well, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.